Come with me to the Huntington Library and Gardens. It's a full day of walking, so make sure you have energy. This footage is going to be from a few different days, and I'm going to start with a rainy day that I love in the Japanese garden where you got to see a lot of the raindrops on the ponds. I took this in the spring, so there were spring blossoms in view. You can check updates from the Huntington on what is currently in season for your visit. Get ready to walk as there's over a hundred acres of garden. The Shoya House recently opened and this is an amazing opportunity to see an Edo style Japanese house in Pasadena. I mean, to be able to be that creative is incredible. Wow. So this is concerned, uh, considered public space. So this is the villagers could come through here. Oh. They would come through here by city hall. They would come through here, pay their taxes, meet with the shoya if you had any issues. Um, if you were just a poor villager, you were come through here. If you're more important, you got to take off your shoes and go into those rooms. Oh, oh. interesting. Yeah. The shoya and his family only live in the back three rooms of the, of the house. living space back there. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, they have the rice cooker. Quarantine left and they were able to come over and work on it. So, you know, they did an amazing job. Yeah. And this is where they would hide. So if they were invaded by another clan, they would go up there and they could hide up there. Oh, what? Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh. So when they built this house, they had to make sure they used all the wood to the best of its ability. So that's why you see the trunk. They didn't want to waste it. And then they tell me that if there was something wrong, they would fix it. But they would take that piece of wood and make something else out of it. Right. Like even if it's a utensil or a, the part of a, a chair or something so that they, they don't waste use, it. Wow. Yeah. And the other thing that they did was the water. So come down the mountain, mm -hmm. there's an irrigation canal on that side of the house, and they would put fish in it. Your food scraps that would go in there and be the fish. And then there's a poop, and then the poop would go down and fertilize the rice paddies. That's amazing. So right? And then the rice paddies would have, uh, the soil would clean out the water as it goes down to the villagers for their use. So it's another natural way of mm -hmm. sustainability. And I don't know if you had a chance to touch that gatehouse door on your way in, but that is a reproduction, and you can touch that. And if you touch it, you'll see it's very incredibly smooth. And that's sort of it's used to clean it. Mm -hmm. So they didn't use any paper to do this. They cleaned it. And so that left the interior intact until it was naturally water and then touched on it. So it's also incredibly smooth. So on your way out, we're going to touch that. People always look at me like this.
garden every single time I come to the Huntington. Even if it's not in season, I love to see the blooms. This beautiful bee on this apricot rose, which is the color of the season. As you can see, you kind of have to plan your visit in the sense that you cannot really get to everything just in one day. You have to kind of choose a few gardens or galleries. I kind of have my favorites that I regularly visit and that I do enjoy visiting other areas of the estate as well as some galleries that I do not visit frequently. The Japanese garden is one of the areas that I do visit quite often and almost every time.